The following segment is sponsored by Car and Car. Well, summer is in full swing and our attention to swimming safety should be focused. The attorneys at Car and Car want pool owners to be aware of their responsibilities. Joining us this morning via Skype is attorney Michael Carr. Thank you so much, Michael. This is such an important topic, especially if you have young children. I was reading some statistics this morning and it said that more than half of children through the ages of one and four who drown do so in home swimming pools. So this isn't at lakes and rivers and, you know, at a, at a public swimming pool. Most of the time it's at a a home swimming pool. Tell me a little about that. Right. So oftentimes you have these uh, swimming pool accidents when there's actually a lot of people around the pool. Uh, there could be so many people around the pool that uh, no one's really in charge and everyone's thinking someone else is in charge and then a child could drop into the pool and no one really notices. So it's it's a problem. Um, it really occurs um, around just this time of year in the summertime when a lot of people are having get togethers and parties and, and, and things like that. So something to be aware of and pool owners uh, can be responsible if someone is injured in their pool if they don't exercise reasonable care and so for example if a homeowner wants to have a pool party for their children have some guests over uh, well if there's no one if there's no adult supervising what's going on and a, a child that's come to the party cannot swim and accidentally falls into the pool and gets seriously injured or even drowns then that pool owner could be responsible for for not supervising the children at the party, mm -hmm. and especially if there's no fence around the pool. If there's no fence around the pool, and some child who can't swim just walks into the pool and falls in, that pool owner could certainly be um, held responsible for those injuries. Okay, now I used to live in Florida, and the, the laws must be different because in Florida, you have to have your pool attached to your house and completely fenced in, meaning like a screen around the entire thing and even across the top. So what happens here in Oklahoma if a child, you know, if, if a kid decides that they're gonna go for a swim and they're gonna trespass onto your property, let's say you have that fence up, they climb the fence, fall in and drown, could you still be liable and responsible? Well, so in Oklahoma, um, there's something called the attractive nuisance doctrine. And what that means is that a homeowner can be responsible if a child trespasses onto their property, into their pool, and gets injured or even dies. Um, so that applies for children 14 years or, or younger. So in Oklahoma, to, um, to get around this, what pool owners need to do is to install fences around their pool that are locked. Um, and that way, if a, if, a homo, if a child does come into their property, the, chi the child cannot get in. So, um, so if a child, though, goes through um, something like you described, where they climb the fence or they somehow uh, break the lock and get in and, and, and fall into the pool, you know, it would be difficult to um, hold that pool owner liable for those kinds of injuries. But if a pool owner has a pool, and there's kids in the nearby uh, houses and the pool owner just decides not to have a fence at all and a, and a child just decides to trespass onto that homeowner's property and into the pool and gets injured or, or drowns then certainly that pool owner could be held responsible okay well we have just a few seconds left but i want to ask uh does the law first of all does the law require you to have a fence and secondly won't your homeowners you know ra cover something that happens well, so your homeowner's rate, if you have a, if you um, get a pool, your, home, your homeowner's insurance rates will go up about $600 a year. That's something to be aware of. And uh, the, the law rec regarding whether or not you have to have a fence around your pool re really varies as to where you live um, from what county you live in. So if you're unsure of, contact your local authorities for guidance. But really, your homeowner's insurance policy will likely require you to put a fence around the pool. And if you don't put a fence around the pool and someone gets injured in the pool, then your homeowner's insurance carrier may say, hey, we're not going to cover, cover oh this boy. injury. Okay. Well, these are all important things to know. And the bottom line is if someone's hurt on your property or you have questions, give you guys a call. Yes, thank you. All right. Thank you so much, Michael. Appreciate the great information. If you have further questions about this, you can call Car and Car at 918-747-1000 and check them out online at carcar.com.